All right. So now that we've got our snoots painted, there's one more thing that we're gonna do. And this is the last sort of step before assembly. Um, so I told you that you needed to cut a piece of fabric that's about four inches by 12 inches. That's this guy right here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna set it sort of on the very, on the edge of the the snoot that I've I've made and painted right kind of here make sure I get it so it goes down all right okay so you know get it centered around the middle and then um, I'm gonna take it kind of to the the dark edge of what I've painted here and then I'm gonna get a hot glue gun Ooh. snoot tipping lesser known cousin of cow tipping all right okay so next I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm just gonna add a little right here in the center make sure that I got that evenly yeah that should be good should reach all the way around and I've, I've got, you can see I've got it so that my fur is, it lays going this way, out from the snoot. And then I'm going to put like a whole line and we're going to go kind of all the way around the edge of this. And this is our kind of base layer of fur. And the hood will ultimately come up over top of it, but um, this allows us to um, make sure that there's coverage everywhere of this fur. And come along my edge here, like so. Get some fur attached. And none of this has to be particularly perfect. It's really just, again, setting down a kind of base. So over here and do this side. And this is why you take it back like an inch or so. All right. When you make the suit. And I'm gonna go with that glue there. And you can see it's a little uneven. It doesn't ultimately matter that much. dry for just a second. Trim up a little of this excess here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. I'm actually going to sort of make a cut down the middle here. And for this part, you know, none of it has to be Perfect. This is more fabric, really, than I even need, um, but it's fine. <coughs> and so now you can see how my eye sockets work, right? Uh, so there's my eye sockets, and eventually the rest of the mask will come up and attach to those eye sockets, but it's what gives you kind of the base of your eyes. See? Like so. Um, yeah, so I made that little cut down the middle, and so now I'm just going to come back up here, and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue up in behind here, get that nice and attached right there, um, and then, again, this part is, it's really going to be sort of behind the hood, so I don't actually need all of this excess, um, I can cut some of that off, and then what I'll do is... I'm actually going to come back around and go up inside of my eye socket here, add a little glue there, 
And I'm just gonna push that fur up in there. Hold that for a second. And then I'll do, I'm gonna cut some of the excess off here too. inside this eye socket as well. Add some glue up in there. Make sure this gets attached. Stick that back up in there. It's pretty well dried to that. And then back here, um, this will ultimately really be hiding. So you can just kind of come through here and add a little glue there and a little glue there. Hmm. And really just kind of get this to attach to the box. So ultimately it will look kind of like that. And again, um, when we get the hood, the hood will sort of come up over this. And so, um, and it will kind of attach right in through here. Um, and so you won't, this is just kind of making the base of the eye socket. It's our, as I said, our base layer of fur. And I'm do the same to the other side, add a little glue there. Maybe a little glue up in here. This is not scientific. Hmm. Oh no, I'm out of glue. That's alright. I got enough to put this down. Alright, and so then we've got kind of our our base here. And the next part is to attach um the hood. Um to the uh, to to the thing, but you can see now you've got kind of your base layer. Your eyes will ultimately sit back in this socket. They'll be painted black. You glue them in there, um, and um, the hood. It's sort of triangular, and so. It sort of comes down through here and then you kind of oh that's not a very good representation but so it kind of comes like down through here and then it gets um, sort of attached and makes like a kind of heart shape to the nose and then it kind of comes back up over here and it attaches through here and we'll, we'll see that when we see the um, the final video but that's <sighs> That's the sort of snoot preparation. Um, it's the end of that. The paint's still a little bit wet. I'm getting first up to it. Um, and ultimately, I'll also, actually, in fact, I'll do it a little bit right now <clears throat> as well. <coughs> Grab a paintbrush, um, but how the fur ultimately I blend it into the snoot is to take a little bit of black paint and and sort of paint this a little uh, so that it kind of blends in with what you painted um, below it, and it only needs to go because down here the. Um, face hood thing is gonna ultimately kind of cover this but that can give you a little bit of blending of the fur into um, what you painted earlier Got 
a snoot that is ready for its next phases of assembly, um, which I cannot do today because I have not received my base hats. But as soon as I do have the base hats, um, I will show you how assembly of the mask works, um, which includes painting, or sorry, not painting, um, sewing the, the hoods.